so there's a little bit of traffic on the way. We're gonna stop off and get food. Uh, we was gonna go to a pub once we got there, but they stopped serving food. Well, as soon um, as we get there. Anymore. Literally at the time that we're Very scheduled sad, to get there. So we're gonna grab some food on the way up there, I think, and get to our stay for the night. Oh, look at that queue. Oh. It does still say red though, so maybe the traffic will clear a bit. Plus 42 minutes or so. Hiya, can I get a double quarter pound of a meal? There's so many red lights. So we're currently stuck in traffic. It's all due to a big bridge that is near us called the Dartford Bridge. We've not moved anywhere in the past 10 minutes. Yeah, we've literally just been sitting. That's yeah. impatient. Lawrence. Yeah, we've literally just been sitting here watching the traffic lights, eating our food, listening to music. So we're making the most of it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have an early night and then get up early tomorrow. So Are we? Apparently. Yeah, so we've arrived. The view's gonna look pretty cool in the morning. I'm excited for that. Sick, man. <laughs> Just <chatting> sheep, <laughs> There's a spider on the curtain right in front of us, right next to the camera, and it's kind of scaring me. This is Where? Inside. There. Oh. Wow. Oh. Cool view today. Pina. Pineapple. <laughs> Pina. Ardingly Reservoir. It's one kilometre away from the Ouse Valley. They say you should park here because there's no car park there. So. We just have to walk. This is the Ouse Valley Viaduct. The construction began in 1839, 183 years ago, by the London and Brighton Railway Company. The cost of construction on this bridge was £38,500. In today's money, that's £4.7 million. On July 12th, 1841, the viaduct officially opened to train services, but construction didn't finish until the following year. Roughly 11 million bricks were used in the construction of this bridge, most of which were actually shipped up the River Ouse from the Netherlands. It's November at the moment, so on Saturday, 17 degrees, it's unheard of. The sun has been hitting the bridge and it just looks so good. Definitely something worth going and have a look at. Mm -hmm. if uh, you're in the area. Just to appreciate the amount of work that must have gone into that. 11 million bricks mm -hmm. <laughs> it took to build that thing. 11.19. 11.19, so yeah. And then I think the next stop is Bodium Castle. Of course, he has to climb a tree. So in true van life fashion, uh, we don't actually know where we're gonna stay tonight. While we're walking back to the van, we're trying to figure out a location. Near a pub, fairly pretty and close to the places we need to go tomorrow, so.
Pulled that out of the rail for the door. How long did you say it was to get there? An hour and 15 minutes. Don't mind us, just eating our lunch in a car park. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah, the castle. Have you seen pictures of the castle and that? I have no idea what to expect. Are you gonna, do you want to look or are you just no. going to leave? After leaving Ooze Valley Viaduct, we had a couple of people coming up to us asking how to get there because it's not an easy trail to find. We had to find out how to get there from a car park that's one kilometre away. Where we originally pulled up was just round the corner from Ooze Valley. But they were doing works on it, there was people there and we like to respect the areas that we visit. It also says online that it's preferred that you go to this car park um, and walk from there. It's not signposted or anything like that so if you do go yourself either download an app that will tell you little paths google maps doesn't work so don't use google maps we recommend all trails <laughs> we have arrived at Bodium Castle. Uh, we haven't got a hell of a lot of time. The inside of the castle, you can go in and look around. That shuts in half an hour. It's half two and it shuts at three. Um, so they said to us, just get up there quick, they'll let us in. Uh, but you are allowed to walk around on the grounds for a little while longer. They're ringing the bell now, so it is time for us to go. That was incredibly cool. It's a shame that it's closing now. Back to the van now, and then we're going to make our way to all tastings, where we're going to stay for the night. And I think it's roughly about a 20 minute, half hour trip, which is not too bad. We're going to try and get a place down by the beach. And then tomorrow, we're going to the site of the Battle of Hastings, which is an English heritage site. That is going to be really interesting because it was a crazy battle that changed the direction of England. Not a clue what this is, but we're going in anyway. Hello! Smells in Big <laughs> Stairs have obviously worn away too much. Yeah. So. It's going to be a good day and it's been nice to break the monotony of... Going to work, editing, going to work, editing. Yeah, this is why having a van is just so perfect because you can just do this on a weekend and it hasn't really cost us anything other than fuel. If you're thinking about getting a van or hesitating or think it's impossible, honestly it's really not. And the sooner you do it the better because there's so much to see and it just makes it makes going on trips just a hell of a lot cheaper and more comfortable as well because you've got you've got all your clothes, you've got your own space, you've just got everything, you do your own cooking. Mm -hmm. It is just it's ideal. The thing is you could come up with a million and one reasons not to do it, but at the end of the day you've just got to take that leap. Definitely. And I guarantee that if you do get around to doing it, 
you won't regret it because I never really thought about it up until I met this one. Never thought I'd really like it much when she said about it, but the, f the first time we went away, that was it. That was it. Two yeah. weeks in the van, we went full force <laughs> into the uh, van life. Yeah. Now, our goal is to live in it full time. <laughs> we just need <laughs> get to get a, get a bigger one first and then live in it full time. There she is. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I So to stay here overnight is £9.50 It's actually £9.50 24 hours. I think we're going to stay here tonight and have a nice view of the beach and the waves tomorrow. Such a cool place, definitely recommend coming here. Everyone was super friendly in the town, wouldn't they? It was an interesting night out. Yeah, wow, it was, we met a lot of people. They were all so lovely. Even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I... I really uh, we're probably just going to head into the town again for a little bit Because uh, obviously it's our last day We want, want to sort of get back at a decent time Keep on searching for my highs <laughs> You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Healthy Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling down, yeah. the sky is falling down. So we are leaving Hastings, which we're both quite sad about, and we're heading to the Battle of Hastings site. Um, yeah, there's many facts about it. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Um, but we got some driving to do and we got some sights to see. Right, we're gonna see you at Battle of Hastings. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how anyone is meant to fight in this thing. But I suppose it's better than getting smacked in the head with a sword. And... All the chisel marks where they used to chisel away to shape the blocks. So cool. It is amazing that they built structures like this with, with the technology they had back then. They built structures as vast as this that have lasted hundreds and hundreds of years. This staircase, mm -hmm. staircases over there and there were only recently discovered. They were hidden behind a cupboard. They were possibly used for storing important documents or objects of value to the Abbey. That's really cool. The fact that they had no idea it was there. Oh. 
You know what's insane? Back then, this would have been absolutely perfect protection for a monarchy, but it's absolutely useless now. Imagine this is like your day-to-day -day life, is just walking up and down here, looking for people that... This was an old crypt that was built into the ground uh, and because of the way the ground oh, sloped it allowed them to put like so many more altars in here for all the monks and everything like that to come and worship and pray. This had like a communal fire uh, so obviously in the winter when it was cold, the monks could come down here um, and chill, I guess. And there were stone seats around the outside and that's actually the remains of one monks would have sat. Stone seats like this, they would have sat here around the edges just doing their monk stuff. Doing yeah. their monk stuff, yeah. Just do, being like proper cool monks and stuff. Oh, I thought you could get out this way. Unfortunately, the battlefield walk uh, was closed. Uh, they gave two completely different reasons for why. <laughs> one of them was saying it was muddy, and one of them was saying because it's for an event or something. But either way, I'm not entirely happy about that but we're gonna come back another day anyway because that's like one of the main bits I wanted to see was the battlefield. Just because of how many men fought and lost their lives and I don't know, it's just cool to be on the same soil that that occurred. Unfortunately, our trip's come to an end. We've yeah. got to go home back to reality, but it's definitely been an amazing trip and far better than I could have imagined. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. We can't find the trail. Billy thinks it's this way. We'll see if he's right. Because <laughs> his sense of direction is not all that good. I was too small to climb. <laughs>